Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is a small extract from my last video on JavaScript array methods. I'm going to link that video down below. Make sure you check it out if you're interested in finding out more about how to manipulate arrays. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know whenever I release new content on this channel. To all my subscribers, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's have a look at a couple of methods that allow us to iterate over elements within an array. So we'll start with for each. So for each runs a method on every single element within an array. So for example, if we want to give each of our animals a name, we can do animals for each. We can do animal, and we can get the index. And we can say animal dot name equals names index. Now when we output the animals array, we can see that the dog has the name Dexter and the cat has the name Snoopy. So the map method works in a similar way to for each, except instead of modifying the reference array directly, it returns a brand new array. So for example, instead of modifying each object in the animals array directly, we can create a new array called pets and we can do animals.map and we can reference each animal and the position within the array. And then we're gonna use arrow functions and then we're gonna say animal.name equals names index, just like we did. And we're going to see that if we output pets, it's got two elements, but they're undefined. And that's because we have to return each animal. And we can see again that we've got two objects. We've got a dog named Dexter and a cat named Snoopy. 